You have probably heard that omega-3s are essential for brain health. Your doctor might have even told you to take fish oil. But did you know that most omega-3s in supplements never even make it to your brain? You could be taking fish oil every day, thinking you're supporting your memory, focus, and mood, when in reality, your brain might be getting almost nothing. Here's the problem. Not all omega-3s take the same path to the brain. Some get lost in digestion, some get stored as fat, and only one form is designed to cross the blood-brain barrier efficiently. Do you know which one? In this video, I'm going to show you the science, and I have the receipts to prove it. You'll see the fastest, most effective way to get omega-3s into your neurons, and how to tell if your omega-3 supplement is actually fueling your mind. But first, I'm not going to tell you to like and subscribe. That's not going to help you. But I guarantee you're going to hear something you've never heard before. So I'm going to suggest that you scroll over to the save video to a playlist and bookmark this video so that when you're eating a hamburger and you think people used to get their omega-3s from cow brains to support mental health, you can come back to this video, scroll down, and see the scientific journal, and make sure I didn't make all this up. I promise receipts. But here's the real question. Why do most omega-3s fail to reach the brain? Why would that be the case? It's because the different forms of omega-3s are literally different molecules, and the body treats each one differently. And I'll show you. Your brain is protected by the blood-brain barrier. It decides what gets in and what stays out. It is very picky and very selective. Even essential nutrients like omega-3s don't get automatic access. Only specific forms that have the right credentials can actually enter and fuel your neurons. But how do you know which omega-3 supplements actually get the omega-3s into the brain? Think of it like this. If the blood-brain barrier is like a gate agent at a sporting event, then the omega-3 fatty acids are like the fans that want to get into the stadium for the big event. We all know there are different types of fans. Free fatty acids are fans without a ticket. They show up, but security won't let them in. And sometimes they go to the wrong stadium, too. Omega-3s in free fatty acid form must be taken with food. They need to be emulsified by the bile to be absorbed during digestion. If you take it on an empty stomach, you are wasting all of it. These fans scalped a ticket that wasn't even a valid ticket. Omega-3 fatty acids that are in triglyceride form are like a massive dedicated mob. They have a chance of getting in, but only if enough of them push through together. This is why you often hear that people should take three or four grams of fish oil for cognitive support. The blood-brain barrier will not allow triglycerides to cross, but it can be overwhelmed. Also, a small fraction of triglycerides will go to the liver, remove their belt and shoes, and then they'll be allowed to enter with a ticket. And, and what happens when there's a continual mob on a security line? Eventually, security beefs up and less of the mob gets in as time goes on. And if you do the math, if you took four grams of fish oil every day for a year, that's more mass than the entire brain. So obviously, all of it is not getting there. You might be wondering, I take fish oil. Is it in triglyceride or free fatty acid? Think about it. Do you know which form of omega-3 is in your current supplement? Don't feel bad. Most people don't. Many fish oil supplements don't clearly identify the form of the omega-3 on the label. Phospholipids are another form of omega-3s. Phospholipids are the fans with the tickets, but they still have to go through security screening and they have to remove their belt and their shoes and it slows them down. Some of them get discouraged and lost. Now we're gonna to get to the omega-3 with the VIP tickets. It wasn't until 2014 that it was discovered who was the head of security for the blood-brain barrier. A study in Nature identified the critical transporter that transports DHA across the blood-brain barrier, the MFSD2A receptor. This study also identified the specific omega that is actually transported across the blood-brain barrier into the neuron, lysophosphatidylcholine, or LPC. Omega-3s bound to LPC have a VIP ticket into the brain. Security literally grabs LPC by the hand and escorts it through the line, through the membrane, and into the neuron. They get to keep their shoes on, their belts on, they get to bypass all the others. The big headline here is, some omega-3 supplements don't provide consumers the mental health benefits they expected because the majority of the omega-3s aren't going to the brain. They're going to Oedipus, heart, and muscle tissue. This is also probably a good time to point out that not all omega-3 supplements are meant for brain support. If you're taking omega-3s for heart health, your team is not playing at this stadium. 
that's okay. So what's the takeaway? This new research empowers you. You can pick which omega-3 you need so that you can target the area you need support most. And for the first time ever, there's an omega-3 specifically targeted for the brain. I would not be surprised if in 10 years from now, LPC is the only omega-3 fatty acid taken for brain health. What do you take omega-3s for? Let me know in the comments. If you're looking for cognitive support, it might make sense to take an omega-3 that actually reaches your neurons. And LPC is the superior form and the science proves it. So if you want your omega-3s to go to the brain, become a super fan and get the VIP ticket. Skip the security line, keep your belt and shoes on, and walk right in. The only LPC ingredient on the market is Lysoveta LPC. Ocker Biomarine have been the pioneers in researching and developing this ingredient over the last 10 years. Phoenix Health Science sells the VIP ticket, and Accenturate Omega contains Lysoveta LPC. But now you know why most omega-3s never reach your brain, and exactly what to do about it.